Dear friend, dear Elena, after our brief introductory message, permit me humbly welcome you here to this very first class that actually lays the foundation to a series of educational sessions that you'll be taking under this particular coaching program. I am Kengacha Marcellus Agendia, a public health professional, and I will be your coach throughout this particular learning period. As you know, this particular coaching program is titled Fasting and Your Health. And in as much as fasting is very important, as you are going to uncover, understanding what food is, is also very important. That's why in this first class, we shall be looking at the definition of food. We shall be looking at what happens when food gets into our system. And in conclusion, we shall be looking at the end stage of the food. And that's why this first class is titled the fifth of the food that you and I eat every day. Basically, it is that. Now, what is food? We do eat every day, we drink every day, but then how can we define food? What is the definition of food? Well, food is defined as any substance that you eat or that you drink that can provide you with the necessary nutrients that your body actually needs to stay healthy. And so, if you eat anything and you have health problems from that particular thing that you eat, then it is not considered food. Because food is actually intended to provide those nutrients that your body cells will need to be able to stay healthy, to be able to carry you around, and anything short of that is in not food in this context. So, after seeing the definition of food, how can you define nutrients? And here, I would like to add that nutrients are substances that we actually obtain from the food we eat and that are capable of providing us with the necessary energy, material and information needed for body repairs, growth and activities like digestion, breathing, contraction which actually uh, cause movement and so on and so forth that is the basic definition of neutron talking about neutron the neutron that comes from the food we eat are actually categorized into two there are two main categories of neutron and here we are talking about the macronutrients and the micronutrients. Okay. The macronutrients are those nutrients that your body will need in large quantities in order to stay healthy, in order to survive. Why micronutrients are those nutrients that your body does not need them in larger quantities just need some small quantities for it to actually solve and now for the macronutrients we have the carbohydrates we have the proteins we have the fats or the oils and we have water and for the micronutrients we have vitamins and the minerals in this particular 
class we shall focus on the macronutrients particularly on the carbohydrates on the proteins and on the fats now dear learner i am happy we have come right up to this stage and i hope you are enjoying the class as we progress i would like to bring in at this point a summary of all what we have talked about right here on the screen you can see a presentation of all what we have talked so far and right up there you have food then you have nutrients because they are actually coming from food then from the nutrient you have the two major categories of nutrients which are the macronutrient and the micronutrient and under the macronutrient you have the four different nutrients which are the carbohydrates the proteins the fats or the oils and water and on the other side you have the micronutrient under which you have the vitamins and the minerals so so far this is what we have talked about